gonna jump it though, just because it's Horizon. Oh shit! What is going on, everybody? What's up, Jane? And welcome back today, guys, to the channel. Forza Horizon 3 back with some more of the Porsche DLC, man. Now, today, though, we're going to be here for a brand new Forza Thon, and uh, we're going to be trying to get the 918 Spider, man. Absolutely monstrous V8, and that was actually one of the main cars that I was hoping for in the Porsche car pack. So, it's really nice to actually see this thing coming back into the game, but there's a kicker, though, man. It's actually only available for one day so i'm really happy that i saw this for today airborne hero is the skill that we need to obtain man we got to get an airborne pass mid-air to win this damn 918 spider i really don't know how this is going to go i'm excited now just to get this out of the way the gloves are here for a reason man now as you guys know um i was just in la and i got to meet dennis mccarthy the man behind no fast and the furious i've told you guys this on previous episodes long story short he gave me the wheel out of the corvette stingray that letty drove now i used this for the last couple episodes and after recording i looked at my hands and i had nothing but black all over my hands and was wiping off from the wheel so i'm wearing gloves today just to kind of counter that but uh today's a big damn episode man we got a lot to do and hopefully win this damn 918 and that is the plan we have this 1973 porsche 911 carrera rs in our hands and uh i gotta say i'm excited man twin turbo in line six boosted it up to about 500 horsepower and uh, this thing's gonna haul some ass, man. So I'm definitely excited. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to keep seeing Forge Rising 3 on the channel, don't forget to slap that like button. So for the first skill, we're gonna go for a dirty half dozen, man. Six trash man skills to earn 35,000 XP. Seems pretty damn easy, if you ask me. And it looks like it's garbage day today, so big thank you on that. There's uh, one, two, how many do we need here? Three, oh, there we go. Okay, I guess that didn't matter, man. We, we must have hit a few of them before that but that's going to give us 35,000 big thank you for that now a passing airborne skill so we have done dirty half dozen um we need to do some two wheels as well too we need three of those to get 80,000 credits and then the airborne pass skill so what i'm thinking is either a race or we're going to take this to somewhere that we can actually get some air and i'm thinking we're going to head on over to the west point tower just nice little cruise on over there and we're going to discuss uh last forza thon actually which i ended up missing man so unfortunately i did not get that car if you guys ended up getting it tweet me some photos on twitter slop underscore train i believe it was the four liter that oh, did i just get that as well 35 oh okay never mind that was the same one I just got. it just it was delayed man it was late getting to me god damn it but like i said though uh that car i ended up missing i believe it was the four liter gt3 rs if i'm not mistaken i can't really remember it offhand but uh it was a monster though i definitely know that i'm not a big porsche guy unfortunately i'm trying to learn and you learn as you go with a lot of these things and porsche is just another one of those brands that i'm still learning so if you guys have any information about this beautiful 73 rs leave it in the comment section down below a little insight a little history i would appreciate the read man i usually do and now the reason that i ended up missing that was because i was at the forza racing championships in new york and uh, that was an absolute blast. I got to meet up with Super GT, Attack Johnson, Tomcat, uh, just a lot of great guys, man. Race Boy 77, and then also the casters of the Forza Racing Championship as well. So it was really cool to, you know, just meet everybody and just see where Forza is going, man. I mean, I got a lot of hope for Forza in the next couple of years. And ESDA was also there as well, too. So we got to meet up, you know, Cali, Die. We had Mystify. We had Dan Ranjuro out there. So it was really cool to meet everybody and just see how everybody's doing, man. I mean, also, too, Super GT was also there. I've been a big fan of his channel now ever since I found him a couple months ago. If you guys are not subscribed to him, I will leave his channel link down below for you guys. Awesome, awesome guy. He posts some seriously good, clean racing content. Man, has a lot of knowledge behind the wheel as well, too. He has done a lot of karting, real-life experience. So if you guys do want to, check him out down below. He is trying to get in to the Forza Racing Championships in the next coming months. So best of luck to him. And hopefully, he can get in there with those guys. I mean, he's good. I've seen his videos, man. The guy can race clean. So I definitely feel that you can get in there, my dude. So big respect. Best of luck. And uh, make sure you guys go check him out down below. We need some air, though, man. We got to get these two wheels for this challenge. Now, I'm really debating on how I want to go about this, but... I may have to get a race going to get this passing skill done. I mean, 
it sounds a lot damn harder than it actually is, I feel like. There's a race right here that I may be able to get into. So we're going to fast travel this, and hopefully one of these races will have a jump that I can jump over somebody, like in Too Fast and Furious, right? I mean, that's what I'm trying to go for right now, just to kind of put a picture in your head, but uh, this is turning out to be a lot harder than I expected. Now, leave your technique down below in the comment section, please, man. So if this comes up again, I kind of know where to go. Uh, Service Paradise Beach Cross Country, and we've already completed the race, but we're going to go ahead and do this one more time. I'm just hoping that we can use our damn car, man. I'm pretty sure we can. It's S1. That's a negative, but what oh, we do have one here. Let's start this up. All right, here we go. Now, I'm praying that there is a jump in here. I picked this because it looked to be like it was some type of rally race, so that's kind of the mindset behind this. But uh, if not, we are not getting this time. Oh, right there. Right there. That's all that I needed. Okay, okay, hold on, man. We're going to go ahead uh, restart. Oh, shit, wrong button. We're going to go ahead restart. Did I get it? I got it, man. No way. I didn't even do anything. I got it though! Okay, man, get the shit out of here then. I'm gonna get my damn car. Hold on. Finally got it. I don't know how we did. I don't really think I chumped anybody, to be completely honest, but I'm not gonna ask any questions for today, man. 2014 Porsche 918 Spider, 887 horsepower, V8, 4.6 liter, all wheel drive, man. This thing is about to haul some ass ass and i'm definitely excited to drive this thing eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars to buy this thing right off of the damn car lot which is pretty crazy man that's a lot of money for a damn porsche i mean you gotta be making it to be able to drive this thing but we're gonna jump it though just because it's horizon oh shit definitely was not the best idea to be jumping a damn 918 but we're gonna run this though Okay, okay, it's quick. And we still can get a few more of these bucket lists completed if I do want to, which is going to be the plan. Just the top on that fence, just the top. All right, we're just gonna go for a nice cruise right now and rip these gears a little bit. We're up into fifth, approaching 180, man. Oh my God, six gear. Oh, that's a roundabout. I got you, I got you. Woo. She's quick though, man, she's definitely quick. Braking is really nice. It's a little bit sluggish on the turn in. I retract that statement. It's beautiful. Holy shit. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Drop a gear. She's moving. Now, obviously, this is not meant for a damn six-speed transmission or seven-speed, actually. So, I do believe, right? Seven speed? Yeah, yeah. Seven speeds. But we're running it anyway, man. I personally cannot even really reach the paddles with this new rim anyway. So... Uh, the stick shift is the way to go for me. Excuse me, man. I gotta get this pass. Do it about 200. God damn. Imagine a damn spider just ripping by you. Close to 200 miles an hour. Holy sh... Are we gonna make it? Oh! I don't think I'm making it. I'm gonna... Yep. Oh! Personally, I don't know what's to come in the next 40 thons. If you guys do have that list, if you can let me know in the comments section, uh, I would definitely appreciate that. Now, there was one thing that I wanted to tell you guys, man. I had an opportunity to interview Dan Greenwald um, for about 15 minutes. Now, those 15 minutes went real quick. Now, I'll tell you that. I did ask him a bunch of questions. I will be getting into more detail later. But uh, the main question that I wanted to talk to you, the main question, though, that I wanted to talk to you guys about, uh, I asked him. Now, personally, myself, I've been a fan of Forza all the way back since Forza 2. As you guys know, you know, I sold everything to get the Xbox so I could really play Forza Motorsport 2. That was the main reason for that. Now, I asked Dan, I said, you know, does it annoy you when people say Forza instead of Forza? Now, as you guys know, you know, the game is meant to be called Forza Horizon or Forza Motorsport. My bad, man. Jesus. Life and ring and build the road. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this is supposed to be called Forza. And, you know, I asked him, does it bother you when people... I want to get a nice shot with that, man. Come on now. Where'd you go? said to me, he goes, really, it doesn't bother me anymore. It's just like a last name, and you keep getting the last name wrong. But, you know, I told him, though, that for me and a lot of other people, we grew up on, you know, Forza being Forza and not Forza. You know, the first time I heard that, I'm like, ah, no, 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 no. But, you know, that is the proper way to say it. And, you know, to me, Forza now just sounds so different that I don't really want to go back to it. Now, I don't know if that's just me. Is there anybody? Oh, sh Is there anybody that still says Forza with me? Or do you all just say Forza now? Uh, because that is the proper way to say it. We out of here. We are going to go into some residential areas with this 918 and just cause some havoc 
I'm definitely down to do a build later on with this car. You know, upgrade this thing fully. Maybe even a Porsche damn lobby. I think that'd be a really cool little online sesh. And you know, I am thinking about getting more into the live streaming as well too. I'm gonna probably try to get that going again. Uh, I'm trying to get the Elgato stream kind of command system that they just brought out. So if I can get that, that would definitely, you know, get me a little bit more amped up to do some more streaming. Am I going to make this? Holy sh we just made that, man. And let me know down below in the comment section, would you like to see me start streaming again? I did it for a long time and then just kind of stopped for a bit. Uh, but I definitely got to up security on my internet and all that stuff. But once we do, I think that would be definitely something that I would love to, you know, get back in. We play some more games on stream with you guys. And just interact a little bit more with everybody in the chat. And I mean, let me know down below. But this 918, though, man, it hauls ass. It definitely does. Let me know if you ended up picking up yours down below. Like I said, man, one day only. It's not something that you have to wait on. Um... But a one-day event, man, definitely something hard to do to really be able to get on here, complete these challenges in one day, especially if you did not know about them. And I really do feel bad because this is going to be the best portion to come out on the Forza Thon. Huge, huge thank you for bringing this out so damn quick after the actual pack. Oh, my God. Oh, I thought for sure I was going to be rubbing that damn wall right there. We got it, man. We got it. This thing's a beast, man. Hands down, it definitely is a beast. Probably going to hop into an online adventure with it of some sort. Oh. I'm coming up to a uh, nice little pack right here, man. Race Boy 77, no shit. Like I said, we just met him in New York. Big respect to that man for putting on one hell of a show. The drivers are so damn good, man. It's crazy to really see, you know, how much skill goes in to Forza Racing. Because it is damn well hard, man. I'll tell you that right now. It is not something that you can just pick up. And start doing there's so oh, season three should be starting up pretty soon i think it's june or something like that so make sure you guys do follow forza on twitter make sure you guys do stay in the loop for that one though because it is going to be crazy ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching for today man i'm hyped i got this 918 i just want to keep sliding this thing around man. it's absolutely a beautiful machine don't tap that damn pillow thank you but that is going to do it for today. Don't forget to slap that like button if you guys have made it all the way to the end of the episode. Today starts regular content. Like I said, I do apologize for kind of being MIA with only one video a day. But um, I have a lot of trips, man. Time was a factor. And I'm definitely excited to be back producing content regular on this channel, man. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. Guys, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of which are found down below. To put us out of Forza Horizon 3. 918 Spider, I'm out. Peace. Double low speed, double low shit.